Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Ray, and I'm back with another prophetic word from the Lord. So, you guys, the Holy Spirit dropped into my heart and my mind this morning these words. God does not want your lazy faith. Let me say that again. God does not want your lazy faith, okay? God is saying in this hour and in this season that it's time to get up and activate your faith. It's time to get up and act like God said what he said. You need to talk like God said what he said. You need to move like God said what he said. You need to pray like God said what he said. You need to praise like God said what he said, okay? If you are standing and believing God to turn around your circumstances, if you are believing and praying that God is going to bring into full manifestation this marriage promise, you have a part to play, okay? Okay? You have a role to play in all of this. You are going to have to get up and participate and partner with heaven if you want to see this marriage promise come into full manifestation. It is your job as the standing spouse to pray and intercede on behalf of your God-ordained spouse, okay? You need to be praying your kingdom marriage through. You need to be praying your God-ordained spouse through because God is saying it's not going to happen on its own. God has all power and all authority to turn your circumstances around, but your prayers is what is moving this marriage promise in the right position to where God can perform form the miracle in your life. The Bible says that faith without works is dead, okay? You have to begin to act like God said what he said, okay? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, okay? We have to begin to move like God has called us out to be wives. You have to begin to move, man of God, like God has called you out to be a husband. Start acting like a husband now and pray for your God-ordained wife. Wives, start acting like a wife now and begin to pray for your God-ordained husband in Jesus' name. God is saying it's going to take your consistency. Some of you, you start off praying, you start off interceding, you start off fasting, you start off uh, being in God's word daily. And then later on down the road, you begin to fall off. You stop praying, you stop interceding, you stop fasting, you stop reading God's word and standing on his promises. And God is saying that you have to stop going back and forth. That a double-minded man is unstable in all of his if you're believing God to bring this kingdom marriage into full manifestation, you are going to have to work out your faith. You're going to have to get up and stop being lazy and start praying for that man. Start praying for that woman. Start praying in a way that's going to move the hand of God. Begin to decree and declare over your life and over your kingdom marriage that the will of God would be done in your life, you guys. God is saying to a lot of you that you are on the brink of a breakthrough, that this is literally your marriage season, but you will not get up and act. You will not get up and move. You don't want to be consistent with your prayers, okay? God is saying that prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. That means don't stop praying. No matter what your circumstances look like, don't stop praying, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Your prayers mean a lot. It works. Prayer works, you guys. So God is saying in this hour and in this season, this is not the time to be lazy. It is time for you to work out your faith.
in Jesus name. It is time for you right now to begin to intercede for your God ordained spouse and don't stop. No matter how difficult your circumstances might look, don't stop because although you may not see the change right then and there, God is working behind the scenes and he is moving and he never stops working on your behalf. But you have to be willing to partner with heaven and do your part because your God ordained spouse is depending on your prayers. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.